All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about making bar graphs in Google Sheets. So I've just gone to sheets.google.com and I started in a new empty spreadsheet. Um, I've got all these empty cells right here. So let's say I did an experiment where I had a bunch of different people and I had them solve two different puzzles and then kept track of how much time it took them to do that. And I would just paste that information in there. So we got John, Bob, Frank, Bill, and Griselda have all solved all these different puzzles. And we've got the time it took them to solve each one. So if I want to make a graph, I'm going to highlight or click on the first cell and drag over to the last one. So I have everything in blue. I can either then click the insert chart button, which will pop the chart in there that the Google thinks I want. If that's not the one I want, I can click these three dots in the corner, delete that. And instead, I could have just gone to the bottom right hand corner where it says explore. And I could click that and I would get a list of possible options. So we can see a column chart or a bar graph right here. That's what they call them. And so I just click and drag and drop. And now I have my chart um, right here. And I probably want to make some edits to it or some changes to it. So I'm going to click it once then click the three dots in the corner and go to edit chart. It's currently set as a stacked column chart. I'm going to click that and scroll down and I can do separate columns or bars to, which go to the side. So I'm going to switch to separate columns. I could also down here do something where I switch the rows and the columns. So if I instead wanted to have sorted by puzzle rather than by person, I could do that and switch it back. Um, and then I'm going to go to customize that lets me change lots of things like the colors and the style. If I click the first thing, background color, border color, font theme. So if I want to change some of those things, I can do that. Also, the bu button 3D right here adds a nice sort of 3D effect to your chart. If I click chart axis and titles, I can see right now I've got a title right here. I've got one title down here, nothing on this side. So my main title doesn't totally make sense. So I might just say time to solve puzzles and update that right there. I could change the font color, all that thing. I could do vertical title and I could switch that to time in seconds so that it is clear. We always want to label our axes. Um, I'm going to move on to the next category, which is series, which are the two different colors. I can do something where it affects all of them or it affects one of them. So if I click this, I can see it can do to just the blue or just the red. I'm going to do to all of them. I'm going to do data labels so we can see the numbers that actually match how many seconds there are. And then maybe I want to change my colors. So I switch to the first one and I could turn that to a nice purple. And then I could go to the second one and maybe grab an orange for that. So now I have different colors. If I click to the next thing, legend, that's where it puts this sort of key or legend. Right now it's on the top, but I could switch it to the right side and change the font color, all that thing. Horizontal axis, that's these words right here. Um, I could change the font. I could also go right here and do slant if I want to make them a little bit angled. Close that. Um, I can have some similar options with the vertical label of time in seconds. Grid lines, if I want to change and add more lines in between, um, I could change the major grid line count or the minor. Maybe I want to add an extra one in between each of those. And now we've kind of got our graph all ready to go. And all I have to do is click these three dots right here and I could either download it as an image file or I could copy it and then paste it in another Google Doc. Um, and that's all you got to do to make a bar graph.